Let's talk to Tori Holt, semi-finalist for the Hall of Fame. Uh, Tori, how you doing? Randy and Jason Sklar here. How's it going? I'm doing well, Randy and Jason. It's, uh, it's good to talk with you guys. It's always good to talk to brothers. I have a brother as well, so I, uh, I totally understand what, it, what it's like to work with one another. So what's up, guys? I love it. First of all, let me tell you, I watched some of the preseason games with the Rams that you, uh, you were announcing, doing color on those. Great job. I mean, is that kind of where you see yourself heading into the broadcast booth? Well, you know what? I, um, when, I would, when I retired, when I was done in 2010, I had an opportunity to work with the NFL Networks, mm -hmm. and uh, I worked with them for a year, and it was fantastic. I loved it, and I was flying from Carolina to Los Angeles, and it, and it took, its toll, took its toll on me, and yeah. uh, they, they, wanted to, they, wanted, they actually wanted to bring me back on, uh, do some more shows, you know, continue to get better at, get better at my craft, at right. being an analyst and being a broadcaster, but I chose to Stay at home with my kids. My kids are at age now. Yep. Well, my kids at the time were like, Dad, you know, you, you just retired. You know, you're home. You, you know, we would love to have you home. Just That's spend right. time with us. So I chose to be with my kids more, and it's worked out great. So as my kids get older and, and that opportunity to go on TV permanently and, and full-time, if it presents itself, I'll definitely entertain it. Uh, I enjoy doing it. I love doing the Rams preseason games. I'm thankful to the Rams. They give me an opportunity to stick around the game and also continue to work at my craft as a broadcaster and an, and an analyst. Um, and then I also do some radio stuff. I do call-ins, like calling in with you guys and talking yeah. football and, you know, just talking topics. It's just going on, period, in the world. Uh, so, yeah, I love being around the media. Um, I love being around the game of football, whether it's coaching, yep. uh, whether, again, whether it's doing some analyst broadcasting work. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, going forward, I see um, – I see myself potentially entertaining it once again to go on and be somewhere permanent. How old are your kids? How old are your kids? My kids are um, my kids are 13, 10, I mean 13, 11, and 10. All right. So, when they give you lip, do you ever just say, "Hey, man, I had, I'm you guys don't understand. I'm Tory Holt. I had 13,000 yards in the NFL. You guys got to do your homework. Semi-finalist. <laughs> Eat your dinner and go to sleep." <laughs> Yeah, occasionally I have occasionally I have to remind them, and, and, and I have to pull out that that belt sometimes. But you got to be careful nowadays because they you take, do they send a kid they send a, they send a parents to jail. You got to be, you gotta be I careful. Their attention in a unique way. I yes. listen. You were this past Monday night. I want to talk about how how special was that? Greatest show on turf gets inducted into the Ring of Honor, St. Louis Monday night. How was it to see all those guys? You guys get together that often, and and was that the first time you all had been together? It looked like you guys were having a great time, and I mean, what a great, what a great show, and and how it great was, was it to be inducted? Oh, it was awesome, and it, you saying that sent chills up my spine because I just, it, it was so good to see everybody, and, and and to answer your question, a couple of us get together from time to time, like Curtin, I see Curtin Marshall and and Trent, those guys, yeah, or and um, and and um, and, Len, and London Fletcher, and, yep, and Big O. I see those guys because we're all in sort of what in the same business, I guess. Some of those guys I hadn't seen since since they left St. Louis been 10, 11, 12 years. But once you see everybody, it's almost like the times don't, you know, it's, it's almost like, I mean, we, we catch up so quickly. It's like we've been around each other forever. Yeah. But we have that bond, you know, uh, winning that Super Bowl and what we went through That's right. to become champions will always have a bond no matter how often we see each other because it goes immediately to the stories. It goes immediately to the practices. It goes immediately to when we was hanging out, the film room or whatever. Uh, but it was really good to see everybody. Everybody seems to be in good health. Yes. I tell you what, our offensive linemen, our offensive linemen probably are, are probably in the best shape out of everybody on that Super Bowl team. They, they look like models now. Yeah, I know. Right. Those guys are in great it was shape. unbelievable to see the offensive linemen. They look great. Now, when I think about that team, I think about the fact that you guys had such a, a great offensive identity. Talk about the Rams right now. I mean, obviously, there was a lot of stock put in Sam Bradford. He's out. How do the Rams now sort of capture on some level what you guys have or what needs to be their identity to succeed? Well, first and foremost, they need to win. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, they only have one win. Yeah. Um, and they need to play more consistent football on all levels, special teams, offensively, defensively. You know, you look back at the Dallas game. We came out offensively 21-0, but we stunk in the second half. That's up right. So many points. Same we thing with San Francisco. Game. Same thing You look with at the when Jones. we was in Philly. We didn't do anything, gave up 20-some-odd points, I think it was. We was able to fight our way back into that game late there in the game, give ourselves an opportunity, turn the ball over, Rams lose. Um, it's just We just haven't been able to put together four quarters That's of right. good football from, from the start of the game 
to the end of the game. That's yeah. the problem. It has nothing to do with talent. I think we're just as talented as any other team, a lot of the other teams in the National Football League. We have a, a really good coaching staff. That's we have a great coach, coaching staff. Trying to improve the guys. The guys have got to make up their mind that they want to go out consistently and win ball games and become champs. And I just don't know if we're there yet. That's so a good trying point. Trying to get there. Coach Fisher is trying to turn this young football team into champions pretty quickly, asking these young guys to grow up fairly quickly. But we just haven't got there. gotten there. It's just well, a lot me, of inconsistent play from the St. Louis Rams yeah. early on in this season. Let me ask you a question, Tori, just more specifically. I don't want to single a guy out, but Tavon Austin last year looked like he was a guy putting a lot of stuff together. Together. He looked like he was, yeah, there were, you would go back and look, yeah, he might have scored, you know, long touchdown, but there was a holding call that brought it back. I mean, he was really, he was doing great stuff. I expected a lot out of him. This year, I think he has eight receptions. What's going on there? What, what do you think is happening with Tavon Austin? Well, I, you know, I'm not there every day, so I don't know what the coaches are, are, are seeing or what they're evaluating with, in terms of practice, weight room, uh, film study. Uh, health. I don't know what that is because I'm not there every day. But I do know Tavon Austin is a guy that can change the game. I, I kind of see him like a Percy Harvin. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he runs as violent as Percy Harvin when Percy Harvin has the ball in his hands. Right. He but he can do the same things Percy Harvin does on the football field. He just he can he can kill you in special teams. Yep. He, he can, can hurt you in the slot. He can hurt you on the perimeter. He can hurt you in the backfield. The Rams have to do a better job of getting him, continuing to get him more involved touches. in the offense. Um, because once, as he, the more he touches the football, the better he gets. And he was the same way when he was in college. Very dynamic. And the more they fed him, the you better keep he got. Him. He's, a, he's the kind of guy that can change the whole complexion of what we do offensively. They just got to find a way of being creative and getting the ball in his hands more. Well, as we wrap this up, Tori, I got to ask you, semifinalists for the, uh, for the Hall of Fame, your buddy Kurt Warner, Orlando Pace, both of you guys on the list of 15. How does it feel? I mean, that, that's a huge accomplishment. People talk about the Oscars and whatnot. It's that's just, a career accomplishment. That is a career. That is really a, a validation of your career, even to this point, even if it doesn't go further. How does that feel? You know what? It feels good, guys, honestly. Uh, from the time I played football from Pop Warner all the way up into uh, the professional ranks, all I wanted to do was play ball and be good at it mm -hmm. and help my team uh, win games, elevate guys around me on a day-to-day -day basis, be enthused, be passionate about the game of football. And now being uh, a nominee or semifinalist for the National uh, Football League's Hall of Fame validates that. It's all what I've worked for. Now, when I came into the National Football League, that I didn't think that I was going to be in the Hall of Fame? No, I didn't. All I wanted to do was go out and prove to my teammates, prove to my peers in the league why I was number six overall drafted to the St. Louis Rams and how good I could really be. And now sitting here uh, being uh, a nominee uh, for the Hall of Fame amongst the greatest ball players that ball ever played I mean, and some game. insane Are receivers. Me? Tim this Brown, is, is Isaac a... Bruce, even in this class right here, you're talking Marvin Harrison. Yeah. And, and by the way, I look at that list and I say, you know, before we say goodbye, I say, Tori, I look at that list and I'm like, we got 10 seconds left, Red. Yeah, I, I look at the list and I say, you are a part of that, that group right there. And, you and, are, and we're for, fans. Thanks, we will always be fans of yours. Thanks for being Holders, on the show with Holt us, buddy. With Tori Holt. Tori Holt. There you it gotta is. love it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.